Hi, this is student number three, and this is my report on on the Native Americans of Ohio. Ohio's original settlers were tribes of American Indians who came from Asia. They were they were mobile hunters and gatherers. The, the Paleo Indians, that's what they were called, hunted large and small game animals, and their homes were tents made of wooden poles, and they were covered with bark or hides. Although the Paleo Indian footprint on this landscape is light, archaeologists have found stone tools and a burning tree mastodon skeleton. One of the most important resources was flint. Can you believe it? Flint from Wicking Country. Oh, and by the way, those red cows or mushrooms, whatever you want to call them, they are, they they represent buffalo. Since I couldn't get a mastodon or a mammoth in, so they had to do. So yeah, let's continue. They didn't have tribes or chiefs or anything. In fact, they I don't even think they needed them. So that's okay with me. One of their most important resources was also buffalo skins and meat. They had buffalo skins for nearly almost everything. Houses, their clothes, nearly almost everything, like I said. They Here are the trees. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead by a thousand years or more. Okay, right now. Okay, so maybe it was I am so it's it's supposed to be before, but they they weren't in Ohio before then. Okay, so the tribes came from New York, Delaware, and the East Coast. The tribes were Mingo, who came in 1749, Delaware, unknown time, Shawnee, who came in 1730, Miami, who, who came in at an unknown time, the Ottawa, who came in 1741, and the Lionedote, who came in 1745. Greater North, the the native tribes fled west westward away from the land hungry Europeans trying to escape the colonists and which were British. The Native Americans struggled and drove further west. The natives came to live in eastern Ohio along the rivers in family life. Indians were farmers and hunters. They lived fairly per and per they lived in fairly permanent villages in the summer and separated their from their homes to to fam to hunt in the winter. Yeah, bad choices. In early years, they they used three types of will wigwams. Round, round with a dome roof. A a blong with an arched roof, or a blong with a center pole. Houses were were long houses with arched roofs made of saplings and covered with rush or or cattle or cattle mats. In later years they built log cabins. Also they had center large houses for councils and ceremonies. Religious ceremonies revolved around the big house, which was 
shown them a while before. For their clothes, men wore clothes, cloth shirts, breech cloths, leggings, mac moccasins, and a lot of silver. Some men wore turbans. Now, time to get to one of the points. The end of the natives. Today there are no native tribes in Ohio. The Indian Removal Act of 1830 called for the re relocation of all the Eastern Native Americans to areas beyond the Mississippi River. By 1840, all the Indians had been removed except for the Wynadote. In, in, in 1842, the Wynadotes gave up their claim and reservation at Upper Sandusky. In, for, in 1843, the United States government sent the Native Americans off to reservation in Kansas. They were the last Native American tribes to leave.